Today, let's discuss the pathophysiology of Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease, abbreviated AD, is the most common form of dementia and is the sixth leading cause of death in the United States, and prevalence will approach 16 million in the U.S. by 2050. Alzheimer's disease is characterized by neuronal cell dysfunction and death, as well as shrinkage of brain tissue. This neurodegeneration leads to progressive cognitive, behavioral, and motor impairment, and ultimately death. The disease process of AD is associated with the accumulation of senile plaques and neurofibrillary tangles in the brain. An Alzheimer-affected brain shows atrophy of the cerebral cortex, which is the brain region responsible for language and processing information, as well as atrophy of the hippocampus, which is important in the formation of new memories. The gyri are narrowed and the sulci are widened. Additionally, cerebrospinal fluid-filled ventricles expand. These brain changes take place because of neurodegeneration associated with the formation of extracellular senile plaques, as well as intracellular neurofibrillary tangles. To understand how and why these plaques and tangles form, it is first important to know how amyloid beta is produced and broken down in the brain. The generation of amyloid beta begins with a protein known as amyloid precursor protein, or APP, found in the neuronal membrane. APP is believed to be essential for neuron growth and repair after injury. And like all proteins in the body, APP eventually wears out and needs to be disposed of or recycled. APP is broken down through two major pathways. The first is the non-amyloidogenic pathway, where the enzymes alpha-secretase and gamma-secretase sequentially cleave APP at certain regions to produce smaller fragments that the body can readily dispose of. The second pathway is the amyloidogenic pathway, and this is the pathway that produces amyloid beta. The enzymes beta-secretase and gamma-secretase sequentially cleave APP into fragments, resulting in the production of amyloid beta monomers, which are proteins made up of 36 to 43 amino acids. Amyloid beta is normally broken down in the brain through phagocytosis by microglial cells and by receptor-mediated internalization by astrocytes. The protease neprilysin is also important in the degradation of amyloid beta. In Alzheimer's disease, there are increased amounts of amyloid beta due to increased production and decreased breakdown. In the neural synaptic junction, the excess amyloid beta monomers aggregate into oligomers, which then aggregate to ultimately form the characteristic plaques of Alzheimer's disease. The plaques can block neurotransmitters in the synapse, thus blocking neural communication. Meanwhile, inside the neuron, microtubules come together to form a cellular highway to transport cellular products from the soma to the axon terminal and vice versa. Transport from the soma to the axon terminal is known as anterograde transport, and the transport from the axon terminal to the soma is known as retrograde transport. A protein known as tau is very important in stabilizing the microtubule tracts that make up this cellular highway. In the pathogenesis of AD, amyloid beta activates an intracellular kinase that phosphorylates tau proteins. In the hyperphosphorylated state, tau proteins detach from the microtubules and begin to aggregate inside the cell to form what are called tangles or neurofibrillary tangles. Consequently, microtubules deprived of tau proteins destabilize and collapse, disabling intracellular transport. With extracellular senile plaques blocking the neural synaptic junctions and intracellular tangles disrupting transport, the neurons become dysfunctional and begin to die. Additionally, in the cerebral cortex and hippocampus, 
the enzyme CHAT, or choline acetyltransferase, is produced in cholinergic neuron soma and travels anterograde to the axon terminal where it produces acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter essential in learning and formation of memories. In AD, there are decreased and dysfunctional cholinergic neurons that show decreased choline uptake, decreased acetylcholine release, decreased CHAT, and decreased nicotinic receptors. The reduction in CHAT in Alzheimer's disease can be correlated with the number of plaques and disease severity. As of yet, there is no definitive evidence for measures that can prevent AD. Epidemiological studies have, however, suggested relationships between intellectual, social, and physical activities, as well as certain diets, foods, and drugs that may lower the risk for AD. There are also modifiable risk factors that are believed to increase risk, including hypercholesterolemia, hypertension, diabetes, and smoking. Certain genetic factors increase the risk for developing AD at a younger age. One risk factor is Down syndrome. The gene coding for APP is found on chromosome 21, and those with Down syndrome have an extra copy of chromosome 21. So they have an extra APP gene, resulting in increased expression of APP. This increases risk for an early onset form of AD. Mutations in other genes, including presenilin 1 and 2, which code for subunits that make up gamma secretase enzymes, also increase the risk. Mutations in these genes happen in certain familial forms of AD and result in a gain of function that causes gamma secretase to generate increased amounts of amyloid beta, especially amyloid beta 42, which is particularly prone to aggregate and form more amyloid plaques. Another risk factor is the inheritance of an ApoE4 allele. The ApoE gene codes for apolipoprotein E, or ApoE, which is a protein that assists in the removal of amyloid beta. Individuals inherit one ApoE gene from each parent. Several different versions or alleles of the ApoE gene exist, including E2, E3, and E4. The E3 allele is the most common and is found in more than 50% of the general population. Inheriting an ApoE4 gene from each parent increases the risk for developing Alzheimer's disease because apolipoprotein E4 is not as effective at removing amyloid beta. Here is a summary of the pathological cascade of AD, pathogenetic mutations, and environmental factors both play a role. The increased amyloid beta leads to formation of plaques and tangles that all bring about neurodegeneration and cholinergic dysfunction, leading to the clinical symptoms of AD. To aid in the diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease, a mini mental state exam, or MMSE, is given. This exam is divided into several groups of questions or challenges and is graded out of 30 points. The sections are as follows. Temporal orientation worth 5 points. Spatial orientation worth 5 points. Registration 3 points. Attention and calculation 5 points. Remote memory, three points. Naming two objects, two points. Repeat, one point. Stage command, three points. Writing a complete sentence, one point. Re reading and obeying, one point. And copying the diagram, one point. This graph correlates the MMSE scores with the disease progression. Remember that patients progress through mild, moderate, and advanced stages over on average of about a 10-year period. In addition to short-term memory loss, know that patients in the initial stages will start to experience mild changes in personality, such as social withdrawal and loss of sense of humor. The moderate stage may last several years and patients begin to experience language deficits, 
lack of ability to problem solve, loss of learned motor skills, and may become depressed and or aggressive. Some patients become hostile toward family members or caregivers. Those in this stage become unable to live on their own. In the advanced stage, patients become mute, incontinent, and bedridden. For most patients, the advanced stage lasts between one and a half to two years. Patients usually die from aspiration pneumonia due to losing the ability to swallow, infection, or cardiac arrest. In summary, Alzheimer's disease is the most common form of dementia and causes cognitive, motor, and behavioral impairment. The brain shrinks and extracellular amyloid plaques and intracellular tangles damage neurons. Genetic risk factors include Down syndrome, mutations in presenilin 1 and 2 genes, and inheritance of the ApoE4 allele. Certain modifiable factors may be associated with decreased or increased risk for developing AD. A mini mental state exam may be given to assist in the diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease. The disease progresses through mild, moderate, and advanced stages over on an average of about a 10-year period. Thanks for watching.